everybody. Uh, I thought I would do a, a box opening video. Um, give me just a second to adjust my camera. Um, I got some rodents from Perfect Prey, and I thought I would do an unboxing video for you guys, just so you can see uh, kind of what you're in for when you're getting a Perfect Prey box. Um, I just got this side already, I think. Yeah, I did this side, but I haven't done the rest of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I didn't order much from Perfect Prey this time, but I usually get, it's really good product. I like that it's, uh, it's vacuum sealed and, uh, everything seems very fresh usually. They usually send you a nice little, uh, thank you, uh, note with, uh, invoice. Um, I've always gotten invoices from them, which is really nice, and there's always hundred letters. There's occasionally also pens, which I use a lot. The ink doesn't uh, last too long in them, but um, it's a free pen, you know? I mean, what do you expect? And uh, it works just as well for what it is. Now, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but all this is insulation, and I think it might be the like itchy kind of insulation. Uh, I try my best to kind of avoid touching it. Um, because, you know, just in case it is the itchy kind of insulation. There's no good way, really, to get into it other than just start cutting tape and try to avoid cutting uh, the insulation open. Um, and, let's see, I'm, I think I'm actually going to pause the video really quick and uh, open up this insulation and then show you what's inside. So give me just a minute, I'm going to pause this, and I'll be right back. Okay, just part of what you, so you can see kind of what you're in for. Uh, I may yet pause the video again, but um, it's absolutely like ridiculous trying to get this open. I've, I've, I have yet to master getting these boxes open. Um, just, you know, just so you can see, and I also had to throw some insulation away in that trash can over there, using another trash bag to kind of pick it up. Um, just in case it's, you know, I don't know if it's the kind of insulation that's made of fiberglass, it looks like it is, uh, but just in case that it is, I don't want to touch it. Um, I'm going to pause the video again and come back once I actually get the insulation off of the product. Okay, uh, hopefully you can see that, alright? Um, I got the, there's my cat, go on. I got the insulation, I got it out of the box with the insulation. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but that's the box that it came in. Um, it's a little wet from condensation, but I literally just had to cut the insulation off of it. Um, and unfortunately, there's still a little bit of insulation kind of sitting around in other places that I I don't even like the idea of touching it. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and open this. Um, this, of course, has my name and information on it. Please, please do not come to my house. I would not appreciate that. Um, and this nice box here. A bag, excuse me. Alright. Inside the bag. I have another bag. And inside this bag. I'm not sure if I'm going to open this bag. This bag is probably dry ice, so I'm probably not going to open that bag right now. I'm going to actually grab the rodents which are nice and cold, and vacuum sealed, not sure if you can see that, there we go. Um, nice cold, vacuum sealed, still very, very, very frozen. Um, so I'm always impressed by that. Uh, like I said, I didn't order too many rooms this time. I was a little short on cash, but as you can see, there's even more rodents. Um, all I ordered was adult mice and uh, hopper mice. So these are their hoppers. I don't know what to really compare it to for size. Here, here's their pen. <laughs> um, so just to show you the size of their hoppers compared to a pen, um, so you can get an idea of the size of what you're getting. We'll do the same thing with the, uh, the mice here. So there's a mouse uh, compared to the pen, um, so you can kind of see how big things are. Um, overall, I've always been happy with Perfect Prey. Um, I think that they have great product. I just really don't like the whole insulation and having to like literally cut my rodents out of the insulation. I know that might be the best way to do it. Uh, it just seems like seems like there would be something else better than that. 
something that made a little less of a mess. But regardless, uh, that's I think that's all I got was um, one bag of each of those. Um, one thing that I really do like about them is they actually label each bag pretty well. They have like this stamp on there that's legible. Uh, other rodent companies that I've ordered from, they like write on the bag and you can hardly tell sometimes what they say. Um, or they just don't put anything on there at all, which is also really annoying. So there you go. There's my uh, perfect prey rodents and uh, unboxing video. I hope that uh, you enjoyed and uh, I hope this helps you in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.